straight drop. He's in the run out of the pocket, now throws, and is that a catch? Yes. At the Aggie 45, shy of a first down by two. There's the third down. They're now two out of nine on their thirds. Put a man in motion right there at the end. Wants to throw. He's airing it out. We're looking back at it. He overthrew it. It went way out of bounds. Fourth down. Good snap. Very high. And it goes into the end zone. No, see, no, think, no he's marking it at the one-inch line. Said he, do, he downed it before it hit the end zone. And here we go. The Aggies will have it at the uh, three-yard line, and it's first down and 10, and Gerard's going to throw it from his own end zone, and he completes it to Morrow. And Howard will get it across the five to about the eight-yard line. Letting him drop back into his own end zone with a 14-point lead, and he delivers with a five-yard pass. First catch for Morrow, handoff across the 10, close for a first down. They got it. It's out to the 15-yard line. Cyrus Gray gets the carry there. We are picking up the tempo. He's eight for 42. Got right back to the line, snapped the ball. Here is Gerard. He's going to throw, and he throws it way out of bounds into the Utah State bench on the far side of the field. Randell Jackson gets in tight, close to the line of scrimmage. We've kept it on the ground, and they read that. We're going to get maybe two to the 20, uh, to the 17-yard line. And Tannehill will check into the lineup on third down and be in the slot on the left side. Tannehill has two for 28 on his catches tonight in the shotgun. Kept a couple of guys back for protection. Going to throw. Got a man. And he is Wachiku again. And he is out of bounds. He, he caught, caught the ball, but he's out of bounds and punched it out to the uh, 17 before it stalls out. Now two for eight on our thirds. They got some pressure coming, and they almost got that. Good. Oh, kick. that was close. Backing up, fair catch, and he will uh, fair, catch. Oh, fair catch it at the 28-yard line. And he goes under center. He's got the pyramid formation to the right side. He pitched to Turbin and faked it and hand out. He does give it to him, and he's down the sideline. And the Aggies close on him. And he went out after he picks up a first down. Two times tonight, now he shows he's not afraid to hit you. He'll lower his shoulder and really hit somebody. No, he's a nice combination and of power and speed. It's a draw. They're going to get another first down. Nice play right there by Utah State. 6.43 to go in the third. The Aggies ahead, 31-17. to Morrell in the shotgun one more time. Fakes it, tries to run with it, bumped into a couple of guys, and somehow found a hole. And he goes to the Aggie 42. Boss Patterson. Tony Gerard Eddy and Von Miller in the front. And Stewart out there, Mangum, Derek Williams. Harris is in the lineup. It's on the ground again, and A&M's going to stop it. That was a second and a couple. Wouldn't let go. On their thirds, they're two out of ten. Let's hope for two out of 11. It's been snapped. Wants to throw. And he is just sacked. That's a seal to deal. And Eddie Brown. That is Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown just sacked him, and that is a seal the deal, a sack for Texas A&M. And it's Dustin Harris waiting on the kick. Kind of pooched it. uh, It's going to get an A&M bounce, and they're going to kill it. As it started to come back, it hit the 20 and was going back north. They reached out, grabbed it, and killed it at the 22-yard line. And uh, Kristen Michael in as the halfback. It's a screen to Michael on the right side. He's got good yardage. He's going to be close for a first down. He's rolled over a guy across the point needed for the first down or right at it. Aggies have used that very effectively uh, tonight. They've run it several times, and they've called it at the right time into the right direction. There was a blitz from that side. Aggies just snapped it on their 60th play. And here we go, Michael to the left side. Up ends him as he crosses the 45. He's going to get 12 more. He goes... Two carries, 24 yards on his last couple of totes. 12 yards, and uh, boy, what quickness. Love Dady's numbers now. He's got 11 for 62. He just got his 12th handoff. He's across midfield. He goes to the Utah State 49. We'll get four. It's going to be second down and six coming up. Check the offensive line here when we get a chance. Can tell you that Lee Grimes, I don't believe, is out there. Here's a spin move again by Michael and turns his back. He comes out of what would have been a tackle and goes to the 45. All great, great new members of the Hall of Fame. Here we go, a third down. And it's Gerard on a, well, it's going to be close. Where'd they spot it? I don't, oh. think, they, I don't think it's a fair spot, but. At the 43. He's going to be a little short. Yard lines where they spotted it. Going to snap it in a hurry. Okay, and he, he fights, and he got it to the 42. Down, 151 yards now of offense after 6.06 in the opening game. Back by himself in the backfield, throwing deep. He's got two men down there, and they are running all over each other. 
And one of the Ags got knocked down at the three yard line. There was two men deep. Under center is Gerard on the ground. Quick cut back to his right. And that's Michael. And he's close for a first down. He got it at the 31-yard line. The tackle came from behind, so they kind of tackled him forward a little bit. And that's what picked up the first down. That's an 11-yard pickup. 25 first down. Jurag, he's given back to Michael. Cuts it. Oh, Ooh. caught from the backside. He will go about six Michael. yards to the 26-yard line. Off of last year's team that went three and nine, they have 10 offensive starters, seven defensive starters coming back, and four special team guys. Here's the second down, a pitch to Michael. Looking for a block, stop for a moment, starts up again. He's close. Where did they mark him out? Oh, the 21. Looked like he was closer to the 20, but they're going to give him the 21. 93 yards last week. Right now he's got 91 on 16 carries with an eye formation. I think that's McCoy right now as the fullback, and it's a pitch. We're going to go left. Strung it back all the way to the 28. He is tripped up as he hits the 15. Flag Somebody down. got an ankle on him, and he spilled and rolled to the 10. And there is a flag three, down at three, the 17 yard line. Well, Carl Kapchinski, the uh, head trainer. Clipping on the offense, on the number five. 15 yard penalty, repeat. I see, we've got First a down. injured player for the Aggies inside the 10 here on the sideline. I really like their effort. I think their schemes are good. Uh, I, I like the changes that they've made. Under pressure, going to throw, and he's hit as he is throwing the football. Goes incomplete at the U, uh, Utah State 35. Yeah. And here we go in the shotgun. It's play action. He's got some backside pressure. Got away from that guy. He's looking, and he is going to throw, and it's at the 19-yard line of Tannehill. Not enough for a first down. They've got to get it to the 11. But they've got some of that 22 right there, so they're going to face third down. And a long count here. He's got two wides each side, including Tannehill on this side. It's been snapped, drops back. He's going to throw. That is Tannehill. And where are they going to give him forward progress? I think he got the first down. He did. He's going to be inside the 11, shy of the 10. Boy, does he know his field. And the last time they had back-to-back -back winning seasons, they did it three times in 78, 79, and 80. Sure, easy. Was it? Had to be two inches. He wouldn't play the remainder of the game, which wasn't good news for us because he's a main cog in this passing game. It's a uh, delay, and it's going to go to the 10-yard line, and that's Cyrus Gray. There we check. There's Kristen Michael here on the sideline now. They got the training staff talking to him. Ash left. Shotgun for Gerard. They're bringing the house. He's going to throw. He's going to throw it out of bounds on the far side of the end zone. Tannehill's in a slot here to the right side. Wachiku is way out to his right. Here they come again. Line of scrimmage, the 10 on third down and nine, needing the one. Let's get a touchdown right here. Long snap counts. Oh, go with the slant Gerard. in the middle. Here we go. Lofting it again, and it is Tannehill touchdown. The finger fell down. It did. Tannehill caught it. The defender went down in the end zone. He's claiming he was pushed down, and he's talking. That's Key John Murphy. And it will go 10 yards, the touchdown to Tannehill. 14.51 to go in the game, and the Aggies now with the extra point uh, about to be kicked or ahead 37-17. It's down, it's up, and the extra point is on the board. That'll make it 38-17. to It's Texas A&M. Caught five for 60 tonight. Nice catch there a moment ago. Kickoff. They're going to come up, take it at the two. It's dropped. He's trying to find it at the five. He does. He slowed him up. He's smothered at the 15-yard line. They push him back to the 13, but he'll be given the first down and 10 at the 15. They're out of the pocket. Uh, he runs. He breaks the tackle, gets uh, about 04 to the 19-yard line. All right, a uh, second down. And a pitch to the right, stops, cuts back. Breaks the tackle at the 20, falls across the 25, got a first down. First down and 10 at the 26-yard line now. 14 minutes to go in the game. It's 38-17. The Aggies drops back, going to throw deep. Got a guy, and he ooh, overthrew everybody. Receiver was back about the 45. <laughs> what? Second down at the same 10. Let's stop the clock at 13-52. Throwing the ball now, Burrell is 11-22. Throws, a catch. At the 30, not enough for a first down. They'll be shy. Five 
13-25, Q got up, kind of limped off the field. Shotgun, throwing a little crossing pattern, a catch across the 35 to the 39-yard line. First down for Utah State. They've got 19 of them. They have 334 yards of total O. Here's a deep pitch to the right side. The Aggies are going to read that turban. Two yards will be picked up. Second out of eight. 12.42 to go. The Aggies lead 38-17. Utah State drops back, steps up, tosses a quick one. That'll be a first down catch at midfield at the 50 to Eric Moats. I'm looking out here. I'll tell you about something that's going on here at the stadium. They're going to loft one sideline. It's out of the reach of the intended receiver at the 28-yard line. Incomplete. A second down and 10 coming up at midfield. They've given it to Turbin. They got two yards. Turbin wrapped up around the ankles, and Von Miller was there. I'll check sacks here in a moment. Waiting on the snap and the shotgun again. Drops back to his 45, throws, and intercepted AM. and There's a flag down. I don't know about this one. Mangan got the interception. Yeah, he did, but a flag goes down, and they may be calling this one back. Let's see what they're going to call. Pass interference on the defense. Number seven, spot foul. First down. All right, a first down. This will be their 21st. They have 347 yards of total offense. Out of the eye, play action by Burrell. Steps up in the pocket after some pressure. And he throws, and it's incomplete. It goes out of bounds inside the 15. And he has, uh, let's see, they got 168 rushing. Forced out of the pocket, will run with it. Steps by one man, trying to get a first down, and he does. He steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line. 11-11 to go. Fourth quarter, the Aggies lead 38-17. They try the right side, lowers his head from the line of scrimmage. The 30 goes to the 27-yard line. Tannehill leads with five. They've got one, two, three, looks like six guys that have caught uh, a pass tonight, led by Turbin, who's got four. They'll throw again, and it's out of the reach of the intended receiver, Eric Motes. What is the study of bugs at entomology? Is that right? I think that's correct, Dave. I mean, that's impressive. They need to be here tonight. Here's the... Uh, uh, there's a, a screen attempt to the left side under a whole lot of pressure. Going to go for it on fourth down. Slot right, slot left, open to the left, half back left. Steps up into the pocket, throws a partial deflection off the hands of the intended receiver defensively hitting him was Campbell. The guy intended to get the ball was Sawyer. Okay, the Aggies first down and 10 at their 27. They get it on downs. And driven down at Utah State. Got a little something going on offense, and then it stalled out. We hand off to Cyrus Gray. Carries for four to the 31-yard line. We have on this one right here. 2.15 to go. Oklahoma State 41 and Rice 24. Gerard wants to throw. Now forced to run with the ball. He's got a lot of territory in front of him at the 40, at the 35, the 30, and runs out of bounds at the 27-yard line. We're working up towards 600 yards again, 77 plays, 554 in total offense. First down and 10, the ball now at the 27-yard line. Utah State's into the field, a throw, and a catch. Tannehill flagged down. He's at the two-yard line, and a flag goes down inside the fire. Right now it would be first and goal, A&M. Oh, we this was a bullet crossing route by Tannehill. He goes across all the way across the field and just uh, catches a bullet. 24-yard completion. I think it's against us. Let's see what they're going to bring. Pass interference on the offense. <laughs> Number 84. 15-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Brandell Jackson. New Mexico is about to go down for the third time in uh, their game. Ball moved back to the 42-yard line where it's first down and 25. Gerard almost got sacked. Going to haul off and throw it way out of bounds outside the uh, about the 20-yard line. And one to the other, half back left. It's been snapped, and it's a screen. There was a deflection on that. Tannehill caught that on a skip. It was a forward pass, so it goes in complete. Gerard's 20 out of 39 through 41 passes in the opening game against New Mexico. It's 40, uh, 31 of uh, 41. Throws over the middle. Tannehill's coming back to get it. Batted up in the air. Threw that into uh, three defensive backs. The coverage was back there on Tannehill at the 10-yard line. 
Line of scrimmage is the Utah State 42. And you got Ken Wood back, who's kicked four times, an average of 45. And then a little sidewinder again. That's a great job with that. It's just a hard hopping ground ball. Somebody get to it. And we did. Killed it at the four yard line. Kenny Brown. Good job. Here we go. And uh, it's first and 10 for Utah State. They have it at the four yard line. Burrell, a low snap, lofts one sideline, looking for somebody. And that is a mighty fine catch. Or did they say catch? Yeah, definitely. They a catch. did at the 38 yard line, caught by Morrison. Aggies ahead 38 to 17. So Burrell lofted that one and just laid it right in there perfectly. Drops back to the 30, dances, throws, turban, sideline 40. Tries to cut between two guys, and Kavanaugh got a hold of him. We're going to let go. And drop down at the 42 yard line. Time 7 47. Fourth quarter, 38-17, A&M over Utah State. In the shotgun, lofting one again, the sideline, and is he out of bounds? He is. Ball was caught, but out of bounds, and Guamcha, 7-38, fourth quarter. A&M uh, defense back out there, and the line of scrimmage, the 42 on third down and six. Drops back, steps up into the pocket, decides he wants to run. A little head fake being chased by Mangum. Stop, starts up again. He's across the 50, and they are going to... Wrestling down on the sideline at the Aggie 46 yard line. Mangum just got his 10th uh, tackle of the night. He leads the team. Wagner for uh, Utah State's got 13. And they're going to throw. And in and out of the hands of the attendant receiver, Xavier Bowman. Gerard's thrown uh, 40 times, completed 20 for 302 yards, four touchdowns. And they will go on the ground, I believe. That's across Number the 40, goes to the 39-yard line. Running the ball now, Turbin 5 for 61, and the, uh, excuse me, that's wrong, 13 for 121. That's his passing I gave you. To the right side, Burrell steps into the sideline, but not before he nets a first down at the Aggie 35, stopping the clock, 6.42 to go. All right, 37 to 14, I think what they just said, 13. Air Force leading, uh, New Mexico, here's a pass, it's a completion. They split uh, two guys and went right between them, missed the tackle, goes to the 22. Passes Ball caught by Omar Sawyer, Omar Sawyer, eventually Sawyer. tackled by Tackling Terrence seven, Frederick. Three. Watching some of these folks out here in the stands. There are crickets everywhere tonight. And a handoff, it goes to the 19 yard line. Without Buddy Holly. It's at the 20, dancing around. Forced out of the pocket, rolls, throws, end zone, and that is a touchdown. He's 18 of 36. I think that was Omar Sawyer that uh, caught the touchdown. They're going to go for two, running all over the place, caught by the leg and drugged down at the four-yard line. Tried to go for two. Danny Baker was right there by it, so was Bob Miller. And they are going to... Kick it and it went uh, about 11 and uh, about 10 and a half yards and the Aggies came up and covered that at the 40 yard line. It went exactly uh, the uh, the 10 that you need plus about the length of the football. Gerard will uh, trot back out there with the offense at the 530 mark and to go in the game. Play action, a fake into the line and he's going to throw it to McCoy. He's got five, he's got 10, he's got 15. And they go rolling out of bounds across at the 20 yard line. Taking their time. They want to use up as much clock as they can. Run the huddle clock down to six, down to five, and there's the snap. And it goes on the ground. I think that may be Bradley Stevens for the first Number time 20, tonight. Bradley it is. And Bradley will carry for three to the 17 yard line. Mexico starts 0 and 3, our first opponent. Yeah, they jumped. Or no, I guess we did. Yeah, we did. Penalty number 16 against Texas AM. They stopped the play. I thought at first that uh, the defense had jumped. But when they stop it, a lot of you will remember Steve Craigthorpe uh, when he was here as our offensive coordinator. Now, all right, drops back to throw, forced out of the pocket, all the way back outside the 35. Now starts to run to the sideline, cuts back and hit from the backside, goes to the 15. He goes down right there. Uh, we won't uh, get a first down on that. It'll be at the 15. Need five more to get it to the 10. And they've called the play. They're just waiting to run as much clock off as they can, and now they will. It under center and snap it. Snapped it at about four. We pitched it. Bradley Stevens had to go back and get it. On the toss back from Gerard. Bradley's going to walk over. Uh, or the, uh, Gerard will, and you'll go. That was my fault. Line angle to the left. Kevin Matthews is the deep snapper. Tannehill will hold. Here's the snap, the hold. Here is the kick, and it's a sidewinder. 
And it is going to be no good. It misses wide and left. This is on the practice squad at Arizona with the Cardinals, the, the team that originally drafted him uh, two years ago, and uh, he's very happy about that. All right, here's a first down and 10, and the ball batted up in the air, and they almost caught that. And uh, we are going to 900. We're up over 1,000 yards of offense. Coming close, going to get a sack. Seal the deal back at the 10-yard line. And Matt Moss will clean it up. All right. This is a third down and 22. And coming back to this side at the 20. At the 30-yard line and into the Aggie bench it goes. That was Morrison. 18 on the uh, catch. And then the run after the catch. In the shotgun. Fakes once. Throws. A catch. And now they're going to give him the 35. It's a first down. That's Morrison again. Boy, he suddenly will become, become a big target here. A favorite target for Burrell. The well, Aggies want to bend but don't break. They don't want any long gainers here because there's not much time left. Five for 104 on Morrison. Goes right up to the line of scrimmage. Throws the ball. And incomplete on the sideline. Skipped in. And now second, second down, down 10. At the 35 yard line. Drops back, sets up, throws, a catch, and got punished after the catch. Eric Motes, first down. It's in Aggie territory. It goes down to the AM 43 yard line. Teams now have run 84 plays. They just ran there now up to 85. They're knocking on the door of 500. A throw to the sideline, a catch. Across the 35, they go out of bounds at the 31. That's another first down. Got 1,077 yards, both teams combined in total offense.